What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I figured I'd make a little recap video today on how the two pounds and a brick is affecting me thus far. That said, I figured I'd go ahead and check my ketones and my blood glucose because I have not yet done that since starting this two pounds and a brick shenanigan experiment. So let's do that right now. We'll start with glucose and see what we come up with. I have not yet eaten today, so I'm getting pretty hungry. I have not yet trained today, so it should be a pretty accurate reflection of what my numbers are doing. Glucose, we have 79. Why is that rainbow? I have no idea. Um, let's do ketones now. Blood ketones, what is y'all's prediction? Three, two, one. So 1.8 millimolar, if y'all can make that out. 1.8 millimolar without any exogenous ketones, without any ketone esters, that's pretty good for me. Um, I normally am around like 0.7 or 1, 1 1.2, somewhere in there. So the fact that I haven't eaten yet may have some what of an effect on that number being higher. But overall, I feel pretty good, um, and I'm happy to see those numbers. Low glucose, high ketones, yeah, buddy. So I'm going to eat as I am very hungry. I've got the pound of 75, 25 ground beef, and this has pretty much been my go-to. I get it from US Wellness Meats, as I mentioned in the introduction video. Uh, but I love this stuff, it tastes delicious. I've been putting some of this savory meat seasoning on there from Select Savory Seasonings, and this stuff is the bomb diggity. I've also been putting a little ketchup on there. I currently have the Alterna Sweets uh, spicy tomato ketchup, but I also have been using the Primal Kitchen brand ketchup. I think the Primal Kitchen has a slightly cleaner ingredient profile. This one's got, um, this was just a little bit more sweetened, so it's got a little bit more carbohydrates from erythritol, I believe. Yeah, erythritol. Um, which I don't necessarily need a sweet ketchup, so that's why I've been defaulting to the Primal Kitchen, but this stuff's pretty good as well. And then I'm gonna have the Keto Brick, or probably I'm, I'm gonna half this, have half it with this meal, and half of it with my meal later today. That is what it looks like with the fixings, and when I mix that in, I'm telling you, it tastes just like a Sloppy Joe mix. I love it. What is going on, everybody? Come on, focus camera, focus. There you go, it's kind of dark in here. Just got done smashing some legs. Let me tell you, it was almost to the point where I was talking myself out of this leg workout, y'all. It was, it was one of the high volume leg days and my workout partner, AKA Crystal, AKA Sugar pie honey bomb is out of town right now. So, I was out by myself smashing some legs. And it's a short workout, only like, like just under an hour. It's only like 55 minutes or so. And nothing crazy heavy, like I only went up to 135 on squat, but it's just high volume, 15 reps to 20 reps on everything. Fast repetitions, just a lot of blood flow and a lot of pain. Um, but, just to kind of give you a, a quick little rundown, I got my my FitBod app up. Let me tell you what I did. I started with, uh, I did dumbbell stiff-legged deadlifts. So that's probably my favorite hamstring workout. So I did uh, four sets of 15 on that. And then I did back squat, sets of 15 reps, dumbbell lunge, sets of 15 reps, 15 per leg, not 15 total. Then Bulgarian split squat, and then um, like a sissy squat, 20 reps on those. And I'm whooped. Um, as far as the brick and meat diet is going with regard to workouts, I feel good, I feel fueled, I get good pumps. So I don't think there's any issue there. Um, I'm trying to, I mean it's pretty similar to carnivore if you, if you step back and look at it. Like I'm eating meat, the only thing counter to carnivore is the brick. And for me personally, I feel like having that in my diet to boost my fat ratio, because with a 
With a strict carnivore, like a one-to-one -one carnivore, you got equal parts protein and fat. And for me, being as keto adapted as long as I have, I just don't run as efficiently on one-to-one -one as I do like a two-to-one fat, to fat to protein. So the brick helps me get closer to that ratio and I feel like I get a better pump and I have a more efficient energy source doing that. Um, and I get, like I said, good pumps, good, good energy throughout the workout. So all is well there. Now, I still have to do cardio today. I'm gonna go to the gym and do Stairmaster at some point, but I think I'm actually gonna head to Bass Pro Shop right now and see if I can find a pair of waders because I might be going duck hunting on Sunday. I found a pair of waders. It took me two stores to find a pair of waders. I went to Bass Pro Shop and everything was sold out except those that were incredibly small and those that were incredibly big. So I don't have a size 8 foot or a size 14 foot. So I was out of luck. So I bought a pair there that was like a, a fishing waiter, not a duck hunting waiter. And it was just way too baggy. It was just not good. Not good. So I went to Academy, found these. This is the Frog Togs band, brand, which I've heard mixed reviews on as it relates to the quality from a waiter perspective. So we'll see. We'll see if they hold up on Sunday or not. Now, I've got to dive into a couple other pointers on this video, but you're probably not going to take me serious wearing waders, so I'll be back. All right, we're back without waders. I've got the, the grill going. about to grill my steak right now. Charcoals are heating up as we speak, and that will round out my last meal of the day. This is a 15-ounce ribeye. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that'll put my calories at 3,600 even, 3,624 calories with the ribeye, the keto brick, and the 75, 25 ground beef, a pound of that. I'm going to have the other half of my keto brick with the steak, so I'm getting a pretty ample fat source with each meal. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about... Let's change scenery here a little bit. I feel like we've been in this room a lot today. I want to talk a little bit about some of the things I've noticed thus far. Uh, so first of all, I've noticed that my my weight has stayed pretty constant these past this past week. Um, I, I dropped down from what I was eating at the incredible surplus of 6,000 calories. Then I kind of acclimated to this whole two pounds in a brick thing, you know, with like some cheating, not cheating, but like I would have something outside of two pounds in a brick, <clears throat> like cheese or whatnot. Um, and then this, since January, I've been just strict two pounds of meat in a brick. And my weight's been pretty steady right at 179 to 180 these past 11 days. Um, and I feel good. I feel like I'm continuing to lean out slowly but surely despite the fact that my weight is staying pretty constant. I've been pretty consistent with my cardio at three days a week. Um, so that's been pretty good. I just got done doing cardio actually. I did cardio after I went to Mass Pro Shop. Um, <clears throat> and I've been doing 15 minutes or 20 minutes at level 15 three times a week on the Stairmaster. Um, for me, it's pretty cool to recognize that my body's holding steady at 3,600 calories and I still have an appetite. Um, not a whole much of an appetite, like I don't feel uncomfortably hungry, but I can eat more than 3,600 calories in order to reach, you know, full, complete satiation. Um, I'm like comfortably hungry, like I like where I'm at. I would prefer to be like this as opposed to fully satiated because it, it keeps me a little bit more alert. Um, so I don't like to force feed myself or anything. But at 3,600 calories, I am maintaining my body weight. Um, my strength has improved. I'm tracking my workouts now, and every time I've lifted, my I'm able to perform um, either more reps, more efficiently, uh, or at a heavier weight, or some combination of the above. So I feel really good about that. I'm excited to to grab that out or rep or illustrate that, um, you know, improvement over time for y'all. Now that I'm tracking my workouts, and then. Other things I've noticed, I just feel really good, y'all. You know? Like, I don't want to sound too biased and, and try to promote the brick, but simply taking the guesswork out of what you're eating is liberating. Like, 
really, really liberate. I honestly think that is why carnivore got such a craze and momentum behind it because it's like you just eat meat. You don't you don't track anything, you don't count anything, you just eat meat. And that's kind of like the same concept with this, except by throwing in a brick with a basically carnivore diet, you're improving your fat ratio um, for a more traditional uh, ketogenic approach, which I perform better at. But I really, really like that I don't have to think about what I'm gonna eat. I don't have to think about it at all. Like it's just, it is what it is. I like it, I grab it and I go, and takes takes the guesswork out of my day. I've got too many other things to work on throughout the course of a day to fool around with what my next meal is gonna be. So that is a huge plus. All right, Joe, I'm about to eat the other half of my keto brick right here. Um, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog, it's a pretty short vlog, just a quick little update on how I'm feeling with this two pounds in a brick thing. Um, and so far everything is good. I'm, like I said, I'm gonna get a DEXA scan at some point later this month. I think Jonathan's coming to town next week and I believe we might get a DEXA scan then when he's in town. So that'll be 18 days on the two pounds in a brick. Um, so we'll kind of see how that affects things. Also, in other news, um, I've got some samples coming in for the apparel, so I'm really starting to dive into that. Y'all have been asking for the apparel, and I'm super excited to bring you the apparel, and I've got some exciting news on that, but I don't want to reveal all just yet, but know that I am definitely, definitely putting efforts forward on that to make that a reality. In other news, I'm getting married in just over three months. Is that crazy or what? Whew. That's crazy. All right, see you tomorrow.